Just look at it, it's so cool, so cool, so really, really cool. This is the new Kadesh Vim 4. Just a awesome mini computer and as far as my knowledge goes, this is the smallest, most powerful computer that there is on the market right now. Just let's take a look at this angle right over here. I just love this cooler right over here with this heat sink, which is awesome. And if you are wondering, hey Robert, does it make a noise? I will show you in just a few moments, but oh wow, wow, wow. Now, also wow is the sponsor of this video, which is cdkeysales.com, where we have seen how to purchase a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro key or even Office 2021 for our needs. So if you are looking for a budget key, I will leave a link down below so that you can purchase it with a discount code. Now, Kadesh is a brand that has developed in the past and we have tested here on the channel a few boards. This one is by far the most powerful one. Actually, in terms of the market, I believe that this is the most powerful kind of computer available right now. In terms of ports, I will show you right over here. But before, take a look at this. This cool is just so awesome. Really awesome. Really, really a great design right over here. Now, in terms of ports, we'll find a USB 3.0, USB Type-C for power and also for data, a full-size HDMI right over here. Beneath, we will find a really interesting micro SD card right over here. And then we have a gigabit Ethernet port and USB 2.0. On the other side, we have something really interesting, which is a micro HDMI input. So if you want to record either on Android or Linux, it is ready to do that. And I already spoiled the operating systems that we can. Now we also have a connection right over here at the back, which is M.2 NVMe that we can connect a SSD, which I did with the same two terabytes, but I didn't do any tests whatsoever so far. I will do a few more videos in the future, but for now, really, really impressed. Now, it also has a few connections right over here that, being honest, I'm not really sure of what they will be connected to, but I will leave some links down below. You can check out the board and so on and so forth, so you'll find more info about that. And my favorite part it is this one right over here on top of the CPU, this gorgeous cooler with this heatsink. We also have the GPIO right over here, so if we want to expand connectivity, we can do that. In terms of specifications, it has a CPU or a SOC that we haven't tried here on the channel so far. This is the first one. It is the AM Logic A311D2. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of flash storage, EMC. It also has Wi-Fi AC and Bluetooth. Now, the hardware is awesome, but in terms of firmware, in terms of the pre-operating system that comes built in, which is called UWOW, I think it's pronunciated like that, it is really a game changer in my opinion because we don't need to burn any image. We can, but we don't need to. We just need to connect the power, the HDMI, and then a keyboard and a mouse, boot it in, and we have a pre-operating system. And I say pre because it will fetch the operating system that we want. At this moment, there are three images available. One is Android 11, and the other two are Linux. One with desktop and one with the server edition. Now, the first one guess that I did try was Android 11. The experience was really awesome. There is no Google Play Store, if you are wondering, yet at least. But uh, we can use uh, apps like Aptoid, for example, which I did download in a USB drive and then did install. After that, I did install browsers and a few more apps that I wanted. Something on the options that I wanted to share, which is the Kadesh options. Really interesting because I did find right over there the option for the HDMI input where I can record the screen using Android and that is great. I can also use Linux but on Android is great. So Kadesh did spend some time right over here. It has the uh, options for the buttons. We also can control the LEDs. We can control the fan speed and actually in terms of, of fan speed I will show you the noise that it can produce.
So as you could see, it can be noisy because it has three different levels. And of course, we have the off and we also have the auto, which is the one that I leave. I never heard um, this going louder than the first level. And it's not always on. It's just from time to time when it detects that the temperature is reaching a little bit higher, it will spin for a few seconds and then go completely dead silent. And this is a great solution, in my opinion. So if you are wondering if it's too noisy, it isn't unless you select level three and just leave it like that all day but i don't feel and i don't see the need for that i just see that the cooler is right over here if we push by the cpu ram and the components then it will act accordingly geekbench so that we have an idea we have a really great score on single core score 286 and 1017 on multi-core score so as you can see it's a really powerful mini computer right over here. In terms of the flash storage inside, it's quite fast. 161 megabytes per second on reads, 117 on writes. Ethernet, it will go over a gigabit, but on my tests, I did reach the limit of my connection, which is 500 megabits per second and 100 on uploads. Wi-Fi, I was able to get 320 megabits on download and 100 on upload. Now, while on Android, I did test out a few apps. Kodi was one of which I did try so it's capable of decoding video without any issues whatsoever nkv files 1080 bringing from my network via wi-fi and no issues whatsoever on transcoding i also played a few games and the experience was really nice now have in mind that it, it is not a android version optimized for this kind of task at least for now it is still needing a few tweaks here and there but one of the things that i would like to try and i will in a future is for those that love emulators this will be a beast for those that want to turn a mini computer to a mini console gaming in terms of emulation this in my opinion will be a complete beast in the market and at this moment the most powerful one now this will compete against machines like the raspberry pi 4 and although it has eight gigabytes of ram like one of the versions of the raspberry pi 4 it is a lot more powerful in terms of cpu this am logic cpu is really powerful and i also believe that at this moment to take full advantage of this mini computer which is really powerful we will need to use linux which i did i did find an issue here on the office it was not compatible with the display that i was using which is a 1080 165 hertz from philips but i did use here on my lg which is a 4k 60 hertz and it worked just fine so i didn't do much tests on linux probably needs a few debugs here and there but for someone wanting something really powerful with linux and then can boot also with android Wow, this is a awesome gadget. Now, the hardware is great in my opinion, but the thing that I did love most, I think, probably I can't say that it was most, but it was impressive to see how the pre-built operating system of firmware called OWOW works. It's just something really nice. And I do believe that this will be a game changer, not only for Cadiz, but for other brands that do this kind of device it was so easy and although it's easy to burn an image on our mac or our windows and then insert a card on a board it is a lot more friendlier just to have this i don't need anything else just connect my peripherals and bam and this was the thing that really caught my attention now i didn't explain the buttons that we have right over here i was looking at them we have the turn on we have the function button and also the reset and we also have these cables right over here that we can connect for wi-fi ac and bluetooth we don't at least i didn't find any case for this particular model but as usual with time there will be some manufacturers that will build some incredible cases for the Kadesh theme 4 at least that's what I expect and it's just a awesome mini computer and that is it hope that you enjoyed the video if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one